Good morning. Happy Tuesday, the 11th of January. We're back in our normal vlog starting point, which is outside the hospital that I am at placement at. For those of you who don't know, I am a third year student midwife, qualify hopefully in about like six months, which is a bit scary. Uh, now living in Birmingham and studying in Birmingham. Probably stay here for a bit as well. I actually love it here. I have to admit, when I first moved here, it was a bit of a shocker coming from Devon. Uh, but I friggin' love it now. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Obviously, I've got all of my, my gym fam here and made amazing friends. And it's just like a really awesome place to be. It's literally like three hours, three and a half hours for Mikey, even though he'll be coming down here this year. So we can finally move in together like two and a half hours home home to Devon if that if that yeah I've done it in much quicker than that before so yeah it's just perfect like two and a half hours to London it's just like the ideal place to live and it's not as crazy as London like I've tried London not a fan not a fan at all I just absolutely hated it it was it's not for me but Birmingham's cool Birmingham's great so we're gonna stay here <laughs> So today on the cards, I've got another day on delivery suite, which I am like absolutely loving at the minute. Um, I have to admit, I didn't enjoy it first year. So I, I think maybe I, no, I didn't like it. I didn't like it first year, but I'm like, I think now I've kind of like consolidated my learning. I'm really enjoying it. Get, you know, looking after a room by myself now and it's just, it's just really cool. Um, I'm on postnatal next and I cannot stand postnatal. Believe it or not, I don't like babies. And everyone's like, how do you not like babies? You're a midwife. Midwife means with woman, okay? I didn't do this because I like babies. I do it because I like women. I don't deal with the baby. Neonates deal with the baby if they have to, or you deal with the baby, honey. So I'm not about babies, sorry. I'm about women. But um, yeah, postnatal is not the one for me. I'm definitely not a postnatal midwife. Antenatal is okay. Intrapartum is my favorite, but um. Or special specialism. I'd like to say specialism. So I'm on the back windscreen wipers again this time today. Yes, the other day it was the front ones, and now it's the back ones. This is my air freshener from Primark, by the way, and it's like exceptional. So yeah, day on delivery suit today. Nice 13 hour shift as usual, and then we are going to be hitting a push day. Woo! It's going to be late, so I don't think there'll be any fit fam there, but that's okay. You know what? We all have lives, so. And I appreciate that I, you know, as hard as I grind, you know, doing like 40 hours a week, whatever, and training six days a week, it's easy for me to say it's easy. It's not easy, but you know, it's easier for me to say like, get on with it because I don't have any kids. I don't have anyone else to look after. It's literally just me, myself and I. So it is like, <sighs> front ones are going as well. Maybe it's just me. Um, it's easy enough for me to say like, oh yeah, it's easy because I don't have anyone else to look after. It's just me. It's absolutely tipping it down here. It's so depressing. There's nothing worse than having to get up at like before six o'clock and it just being, obviously it's dark, but like tipping it down with rain. You know that when you leave, it's going to be dark and it's just like, it's just miserable, man. It's so miserable. Like where's the get up and go? <laughs> you know that, um, <laughs> you know that reel that's going around that's like, Hello darkness, my old friend. And it's like raining. That's that's how I feel in this like lovely dry car. <laughs> anyway, I'm rambling now. Um have a great day, even though like you're literally gonna see me in about like 20 seconds because I'm just gonna clip this onto the rest of the day. But I'll try and film some of my workout. Oh we are now 10 weeks away. Ten weeks. Like, when did that happen? I am petrified, like absolutely petrified. It's like all getting way too real now. Booked makeup for the first show, booked tan for the first show, got my shoes, uh, got bikini, got two bikinis actually. Everything's like falling into place. I'm hoping that after I get my tan for the first one and I know how dark it's gotta be, I can probably do it myself or at least like get one of my friends to do me a spray tan for cheaper because it was quite expensive and obviously like <clears throat> student living what's that say fashion stole my money fucking uni stole my money mate so yeah hopefully um and also i know quite a few like makeup artists so hopefully i can either do it myself when i know kind of like how intense it's got to be or get one of my friends to do it so that will help my budget a lot because i've got three shows coming up 
and um, I can't fucking afford it basically. And the two bros is £300 because I want to do the beginners and the open class. So it's all adding up, mate. It's all fucking adding up and I can't afford it. You know how I was moaning the other day about, oh my weight is stagnant. Or maybe I did that on Instagram, I'm not sure. Either way, I was moaning the other day because my weight is stagnant and I did drop like four pound four pound it's stuck again maybe i'm due another drop it's weird it's so weird like whenever you moan the prep provides so like i always get to this point where i'm like it's not doing anything and then all of a sudden it does something i need to forget that like the scales aren't always the answer you know the scales aren't a marker of achievement the aesthetic is the marker of achievement so like just look at the bigger picture basically just stop being a brat and look at like everything else that's going on mm -hmm. so everything's good my energy is high my cravings are fucking high i'm craving pizza so bad it's actually a joke i went on this massive rant to my coach yesterday just saying we're hanging out there i want pizza he was like just you know if you could be, get it in your macros now then do it because it's gonna get a hell of a lot worse and i was like i can't and i can't be honest with like the fanning around of rejigging everything i eat the same thing every day because i know that it works um and i just can't be honest with like the added stress of trying to fit in like two slices of pizza because i'll just eat the whole thing i'm so scared that if i do like you know give myself an inch rah, that i'll eat a mile <laughs> So I'm just not gonna bother. I can't, I can't be honest with the stress. I'm just gonna have to deal with it. Just suck it up. I put something on my Instagram story yesterday and it was like, um, pizza is temporary, but victory is forever. I thought that was pretty profound, profound, if you ask me. But yeah, my energy is like surprisingly high. Whenever I'm in the gym with Grace, I'll do a set and then I'll be like fucking jumping around. And then I'm like, what am I doing? I'm supposed to be like depleted to shit. So maybe I'm not working hard enough. I'm basically having a, a great time apart from like I mean little noggin getting in the way I'm ready to take it up a notch I, I know that sounds absolutely savage but like let's fucking like turn this shit to 11 man I, I feel like there's things that need to go I don't know anyway exciting things I have coming up I've got a posing session with Phoebe Goodwin on Thursday which I'm really looking forward to um, because posing is definitely like the thing i don't even know how the lighting is in here but we've done it now um because and the camera's the front way rather than the back way so it's probably not as good quality but you know what i've spoken for like 10 minutes now so just whatever um i got posing with phoebe goodwin i just said that on thursday i've rambled for so long i can't believe i've actually like spoken to a phone for this long with no one on the other side i'm just pretending that you're there Vlogging is weird. Vlogging is actually quite difficult, believe it or not. I watch other people's vlogs and I'm like, how the fuck do you make it this interesting? Because I think I'm really boring. Maybe it's all like the little like cute little shots they do of like the coffee in the morning. And But I just, when I do it, I'm like, this is interesting, I don't know. Whatever, we're learning, aren't we? We're learning and like some people are watching. Thank you for tuning in. Anyway, I'm rambling again. Goodbye. Hi, good morning, lovely people. It is Thursday, the 13th of January today. It's about midday, I think. Very busy day coming up today. So I've just meal prepped. And in a minute, I'm going to Temple Gym, which I'm just going to I'm really excited about because I've got an in-person posing session with Phoebe Goodwin. So that'd be really good. I'm looking forward to it. And then we've got training, got a pool day today. So <clears throat> that'll be fun with Fulvia. My calories dropped again today. Um... So we're, we're really low now and I'm not going to lie, I'm really fucking hungry. Let me show you the portion of food that I just made. So this is going to be my lunch. <laughs> I can't fit rice into my lunch anymore because my carbs are so low. Come here. See, I don't know, that doesn't look like a lot to me. Um, but... That, that's it, that's my lunch. And I'm not being funny right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be hungry. I'm gonna be hungry. But I just thought to myself, you know what? I probably would prefer to spread my carbs out than have some at lunch. Cause then I get to look forward to like porridge in the evening, just like mentally. Sorry, I have to sort again, this is so uncomfy. It just finally like makes all the difference. Cause I'm not, I'm not gonna be hungry, aren't I? So. so yeah, that's today. I bought a new posing bikini, like a practice suit which I was hoping was gonna to arrive today and it hasn't. So that's extremely annoying. 
So I'm literally gonna have to pose in a sports bra and, um, my recycling, um, pose in this sports bra and like maybe a thong or some shorts or something, which is kind of annoying because I would have liked to have had the shape. Obviously I'll wear the shoes, but you know, it would have been nice to have had the shape, but hey ho, what can you do? Anyway, I need to get going because I need to get to Temple and I'm gonna have to drive. So yeah, I shall see you shortly. Oh, hi guys. I've just pulled up at my new normal uh, parking spot to avoid the congestion charge in Birmingham. I'm so nervous. Like, I don't know what's wrong with me. I, I'm so nervous. I think it's maybe because I've not posed in front of anyone before and especially not like someone who's like on the cusp of turning pro. Like I really rate this girl's opinion. So I'm actually like petrified. <laughs> I'm so nervous. And I, I, maybe it's because like basically, long story short, I was on the posing, the posing portal, using the posing portal and they, I just wasn't using it properly. I wasn't checking in regularly. I just couldn't put it around my schedule, which is a terrible excuse. But they do IFBB posing and for PCA it's slightly different and for UK UP it's slightly different. So I was basically like doing the right posing because that's what I'll need for the two bros show, which I signed up for yesterday. Um, but not right for the PCA one. So I, I just feel really behind. And like I've said before, I'm not very good at doing things that I'm not very good at. So I'm actually, I'm actually so scared. I don't know why. <laughs> It'll be okay. It'll all be okay. Today we're wearing our cravings. I've got my trusty donut socks on. Although, let's be honest, like, my real craving is pizza. I'm craving pizza so bad it's actually a joke. Like, I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm not doing it! Anyway, I've got my shit food here. It's not shit, it's actually delicious, but I'll just walk past. It's actually delicious, so I'm gonna eat that in a minute and try and like hold it off as long as possible. Maybe I'll wait till after posing so I'm not bloated and then eat it just before I get to the gym. I've got posing at two and then a PT at half three, so it should be fine. Anyway, in again. Well, a good evening, lovely people. What a day it has been. Oh my goodness, I'm literally so glad to sit down. It's been so unbelievably busy. I've got a nice big thing of porridge here, like, I don't care, I eat out of the thing. Every morsel counts, so I literally eat it out of the pan. I, I don't care. Um, but it's like literally scorching hot at the minute, so I can't eat it. But, um, oh my goodness, what an amazing day. So I had my posing session with Phoebe Goodwin. That was really, really good. It was so lovely to meet her and Emma. Um, it, it definitely made me realise how much I need to practice, like especially my side pose for PCA, because I've just missed the mark a lot. I think basically... I was doing IFBB posing for so long that it's just like a totally new thing to me. So luckily we filmed a lot of it and so I can look back and go with what we did. So that'll be good because that's going to need some work and it's shit me right up to be honest because, you know, nine and a half weeks out and it looks a bit rough. It's still too hot. I'm so hungry. I literally just want it now. I'm so obsessed with porridge at the minute. I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's like a warm hug a warm sugar-free hug <laughs> it's just really nice I just really like it it fills me up so much so I'm I've fiddled with my macro so that I can have porridge in the morning and the evening now which is like oat overload but it works so uh, we're doing it uh but yeah so that was really really good and then I went to the gym trained to pool with Fulvio chat loads of shit and then um he's been nagging me to do a spin class once a week for so long and I've just been not dodging it at all I'm happy to do it but it just never fits around my schedule because obviously like with placement I'm always if I go to the gym it's either it's normally like half eight in the evening so all the classes are done or if it's my day off then I tend to just go when I've got a PT session and normally I'm like so shattered I, I do like my own cardio but it's just, it's just but there's not one on but today I was finishing up biceps and I was like, oh my God, there's this pink glass on. Saw everyone like getting ready and I was like, fuck it, let's just do it. And I'm so glad I did because it was rough as hell. And like, oh my God, I'm so unfit. I don't think I'm that unfit. It just hurt. It's meant to hurt, isn't it? Um, but yeah, it was good. I'm really glad I did it. So I'm going to try and get some more of them in because obviously like cardio has gone up again as well as calories going down. So it's just good to mix it up a bit, really. It's nice to mix it up. I'm not going to do any more uphill walks we've got to do you know something a bit more intense because I'm getting a little bit I can't remember if I said this earlier or not I am just getting a little bit worried that 
I'm not going to come in lean enough. <clears throat> and I spoke to a girl um, today who's doing the same two bro show as me. Um, in all three in the same categories, which is quite funny. And she looked amazing last year and she told me that her feedback from the judges was that she was, looked about three weeks out. So obviously I'm nine and a half weeks out and I just want to make sure that I am like, you know, they will see. But yeah, I'm going to eat my porridge and then I'm going to try and do some work. I've really let myself go in terms of uni work. I think it's a combination of like, prep is so stressful and it's hard to have the energy to do anything to be honest. Like I'm literally just, being honest, I am really tired. It's hard. Uh, I can't even have an apple. It throws me out with my macros. And I really miss like crunchy food. So I should I probably, maybe I should just fiddle with my diet a bit, but um, it is difficult getting up at half five in the morning, doing a 13 hour shift, going to the gym, doing a half an hour cardio, coming home, repeat, repeat, repeat. Like it is hard. Um, so I have been letting myself down like academically and that was the one thing that I said I wouldn't do. Um, I'm not letting myself down academically, I just haven't done anything basically and I've got like assignments here, there and everywhere. So I do need to do some work, <laughs> basically. So yeah, I'm going to try and do some work, pack my bags, so I've got placement again tomorrow. And then it's the weekend and I'm actually off at the weekend which is nice, but I mean I can't do anything, I have to do work, so. <laughs> so yeah, I shall love you and leave you, I'll see you in a bit.